Hi guys, my name is Jake and in this video I will show you how to turn any text object into donut using geometry nodes and some normal modifiers. So let's get started. Let's start from deleting everything from our scene and let's add the text object. Let's change the font to Fredoka1. This one is from Google Fonts, so that's free, CC0, etc. Link is in the description. And we have to change that text object into the proper dough so that we have the base for our donut and we'll do it using only one letter so let's add a little bit of depth to our mesh to our mesh to our text let's go to geometry extrude let's change resolution to full 64 and now we have to add some modifiers so let's just set origin or written to geometry and let's add remesh set it to sharp and then awk3 depth to 9, scale to 0.1 and then smooth shading. And we have some bevel and we will have much more adding smooth modifier. And we have to change the factor to 2 and repeat to 20. So now we have something like donut, but we have to add one more remesh modifier. Put it below smooth and change awk3 depth to 8 and scale .6. And now we will add another smooth, so we have very nice dove so far, and the factor is the same, repeat also the same. Now let's add the modifier called geometry nodes, put it above smooth, click new, and we are going straight to add the icing and sprinkles. So for the icing we have to somehow duplicate this object in geometry nodes and delete the bottom part, and also add solidify modifier inside geometry nodes and scale it along normals like you would do with it with alt s so now we'll build the icing so let's add join geometry so we don't lose our main object and here we will be building our icing let's add delete geometry we will delete only the bottom part let's add math separate xyz and position z goes to value and here from add we have to change to less than. Now plug it here. And since we are in 3.4, we can just go and add the viewer. So as you see here, we have nothing and we have to do something to actually have the mesh. So let's play with threshold. And I think that amount will be good. Maybe something like this. It's up to you how much, how much the icing you want to have. Now let's add some depth to actually our icing. So there is a difference between the dove and the icing. And we'll do it making some kind of solidify modifier inside the geometry nodes. So let's go with extrude mesh and flip faces. Plug geometry to mesh and to flip faces. Then let's get another joint geometry plug it and let's see the result. And it's complete mess because of offset scale that we have to turn down and turn off the individual. And now we have very cool icing. Let's see how it looks with the dove. Looks pretty good. And as you see here, we have some kind of free space. And to get rid of this, we have to add merge by distance. And now we have our icing. And now let's add some variations to our icing. So it's not like completely flat all the way and we'll do it using set position node add it after merge by distance then add vector math another position so i'll just duplicate it map range and noise texture plug it like here and now we have complete mess so let's fix it and we will fix this using the map range node let's just play with this with these settings or copy the exact numbers that i have here so number like here should be fine of course, you can play with it to get some other results, but I think that slight variation is cool and it will look different on different numbers later on when we will test this. So now let's go and add some sprinkles. But first, let's clean it up. So select all the nodes that are going through the icing. So let's select all the nodes that are creating our icing and click Ctrl J. Now let's go with the sprinkles. But first, we have to create some kind of another layer that we'll place our sprinkles on and we have to add another delete geometry because we our intention here is to duplicate the icing but delete some the part at the bottom because when i tried this setup i had sprinkles also below the icing and i figured out that if we delete some geometry from here let's say 
Then we will have our sprinkles exactly on the edge. So let's add delete geometry and less than separate XYZ and position. So actually let's copy this. Plug our set position to delete geometry and then the less than to selection. And we'll test this one later when we'll have our sprinkles and when we'll see the actual result. Let's add distribute points on faces like this and change to Poisson disk. Add instance on points, like points to points. And now we have to model our sprinkles. And this will be a few cubes with subdivision surface and we'll go in with one sphere. Okay, so with our sprinkles, let's add them to the new collection and call them these sprinkles. We can hide it. But before we hide it, we have to apply the scale. And now we can hide it. And let's drag our sprinkles to the geometry nodes. Let's add the geometry to instance and to viewer. We have to add our instances to join geometry. And we have to separate children, reset children, and change the scale. The scale for now will be something like 0.08. But we will, of course, later adjust it with random value. Let's click pick instance. And now let's play with the distribute points on faces node. Have some slightly have some slight distance minimum and then crank up the density max. And now we have to rotate it properly so it's not standing in the same direction. And we'll have to add align Euler to vector, vector math, separate XYZ and random value. Like these nodes like here. And change from add to multiply and plug it into rotation. And now I see we have to add even more points. So it's really, really dense. Even something like 2000. Yeah, that's cool. Now let's fix some settings here to give even more rotation. And now let's make some, let's give some randomness for the scale. So duplicate our random value and plug it to scale. And we have to set our minimum and maximum. So we had our scale something about mm, 0.02 so let's give 0.01 and max 0.02 so it's very very slightly the the randomness of the scale and now as i said before we have our sprinkles below the icing and to fix this we have to go to our less than and play with the threshold perfect so another turn of cleaning up our geo nodes let's add it to one frame and up to you how you want to place your nodes Okay, so now that we have our geometry fully done, let's try out some other letters if it looks as great. Nice. And for example, B. Very cool donut, isn't it? Okay, so let's add some materials to this beast. So we have to get three set material nodes. One will be for dove, one for icing and one for sprinkles. So our dove goes here, icing is here, I believe, yeah, and sprinkles here. Add three materials. And now let's add our materials to geometry nodes. Let's go to shading and let's start from the dove. So the first thing we'll do for the dove is to actually add this one strip that is lighter than the other part of the donut. And we'll do it using wave texture with color ramp. And we have to pick two colors of the dove. Let's try like this, we can always change the setting. Factor to factor and color to base color. It's not what we want, okay? So let's add texture coordinate. And instead of generated, we go with object. Now we have to rotate in the mapping, 90. And we almost have our dove done. For the sake of the visibility, we can hide for a while the geometry nodes so we can see our dove better. And let's bring this down so we have it really prominent. Yeah, really cool. So let's add now some variation in the normals. We'll do it using noise texture with bump node, factor to height and normal to normal. And it's not what we want, of course. So let's plug mapping to vector and play with the scale. It should be really high, something like 40. And the strand goes to 0.1. It's subtle, but it's visible. And also let's add one color ramp to bring some contrast, like something like this. Now let's add some roughness variation to our dough. And we'll do it using same noise texture and color ramp. 
Let's plug vector to vector and color straight to roughness. And let's preview our node itself. And it's really, I would say, neutral. We had to bring a more dark. And in Blender, the black color is value of zero. White color is the value of one. Like you see here, value one is white and value zero is black. So something like here would be good. We can even lower the scale. Also guys, if you feel like the color is not right for you, you can go here and change it to even like pink donut. So the last thing we can do here is to add some like darker spots on the dough itself because it's like too perfect right now. So we have to bring some variation here. So let's get noise texture with color ramp. So let's get the noise texture with color ramp and we'll need two color ramps, vector to vector and factor to factor. The color ramp, we'll use this one from our color and let's preview it. And we have to give some kind of darker shade. So we will have hue saturation value. And here we can just bring the value down, play with the scale also, up to you. And now we have to somehow combine it with uh, the our main color with this color added, like these shades. And we'll do it using mix node. It was mix RGB in previous in previous versions of Blender, but it, it's changed to mix and we have to go from float to color. And here we have it. So let's plug color this um, black white to factor. It will determine where we have our spots and where we don't have it. So the color from black white goes to factor. Color from hue saturation goes to B and our main goes to A. And let's plug the result and take a look. It's a bit too much. We will fix it using the color ramp that determines where we have the spots. Something like here, I believe. It's completely up to you. So that's it for the dove. Let's go with the icing. And now that we are going to do the icing, let's activate geometry nodes again. And the first thing with icing is that it's uh, pretty reflective because it's like candy, it's sugar, you know. So let's turn it to 0.2 so it's shiny. And we'll go with random colors because you can have like many, many of these letters in one scene. And it will be a bad idea to change the color for each of these. And like disconnecting materials, connecting again, whatever. So let's go with object info and color ramp, plug random to factor and color to base color. Let's change RGB to HSV. And then the first color will be red and the last color must be the same. So we have the whole wheel and from near to far. And now we have like, you see the whole color wheel, but we'll go with slightly desaturated version. I mean, not desaturated, just less saturation, okay? And something like that. Let's copy this color, plug it here, and we'll have the randomness from the, going from these colors. You can also add some kind of differences like the bump material like we did for the dough, and we'll go with bump, color ramp, noise texture, control T, again, object, vector to vector, factor to factor, color to height, and to normal. And it will be too much, I guess. Yes, of course it is. So strength goes to 0.1, yeah. So it's very slight, almost invisible. And also, and turn down the scale and the roughness. So it's like very, very mm, smooth. Okay, so with our icing done, we can go with sprinkles. Let's, in, let's copy the object info and color ramp because we'll use almost the same material. Go to sprinkles, add it, goes to color, and right away we have our sprinkles. Just the only difference will be from the normal material will be to turn down the roughness to also 0.2. And that's everything from the materials perspective and from the geo notes. Let's just make a final test if it works correctly. Let's get some few different letters. And as you see here, colors are random. Very cool. Let's change the letters, try others. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you've learned something new. Make sure to leave the like, leave the comment and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.